Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordy. Uh, this tarot reading is for Cancer. We're going to use the Modern Witch Tarot today and pull the 10 card spread and see what's going on for the collective energies of Cancer today. Keep in mind these readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. If you find the reading doesn't fit your story, I recommend checking out another reading on my channel. Regardless of the zodiac sign, just look for a title that stands out to you. These are collective messages, so you don't have to be a Cancer to enjoy this reading. Or vice versa with the other videos I make. Alright, let's see what's going on. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below, and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming out uh, just as I started shuffling. I'm going to take this card for your first card today. Uh, it signifies a big change. It came out reversed, so we'll we'll keep it reversed in the spread. But um, something here about um, a change that is uh, like it's not the first time this change has tried to happen. Um, there's been resistance. There's been repetition. This is something that's trying to like come back around again and again to be healed or to be um, transmuted into something new. So um, that's what I'm getting from the Wheel of Fortune being reversed. We have justice reversed. Ooh, interesting. So what we could be looking at a situation that's coming back around again and again to be resolved with the justice card. Something might be unfair, unjust or just not organized the right way. Um, something essentially is out of balance. These are two cards of karma. So whether we're talking about a legal situation or a, 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 like an emotional or relationship conflict, or we could be talking about something in the workplace. Um, if we pull that our lens of looking at things from like a more material or personal level and pull it back to like, like this is a karmic cycle that's repeating itself over and over again. It's affecting not only you, but other people around you. Um, there's something here about your story has been interwoven with like other people's stories for quite some time now. And this is more of like a collective or a group karmic cycle. So you may have tried to like break free of this or like make your own moves or like, like identify without this conflict, this thing that needs to be resolved. Like you're trying to make your own situation happen and, but you're still tied in with this somehow. That's what I'm getting. Ooh, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is like an, an untapped potential. Um, an opportunity that is dormant in the ground like a seed. Once it's um, able to activate and push through the soil and have like a quick growth spurt here, It'll grow for the long term. It could be a tree seed. It could be a seed for a weed, you know. Um, but with these big energies of karma here, this is again telling me that um, not only that a cycle has been trying to repeat itself or a healing or a resolution has been trying to come through multiple times. Um, maybe it's been manifesting as dysfunction, however. Even though this healing energy is trying to come through into your situation, the actual events that have transpired each time that this has been bubbled up to the surface, it may have looked bad, it may have looked ugly, it may have looked like the opposite of healing. Um, these are all like attempts, you know, growth attempts um, with the Ace of Pentacles here. In the wow, judgment reversed in the recent past. That's another major arcana. So, you have major arcanas and an ace. These are 
divine timing cards. These are all the karmic energy cards as well. I mean, a lot of cards in the tarot talk about karma, but I mean, like, specifically talking about karma. Um, we have the sun, another major arcana in the distant past. Wow. They're all reversed right now. That's okay. I'm going to pull the rest of the cards for the spread because I feel like we've got the introduction down and we know what we're talking about now. We have the King of Pentacles in the future. We have the Three of Swords representing you or the collective group energy, I want to say. Um, in the environment is the Star card. It's the only upright card. Um, we have the Queen of Cups to join that card. Beautiful. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed as the outcome. We have the Hermit underneath the bottom of the deck. So you have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six major arcana out of 11. So we could be talking about the Virgo season, which is the next the zodiac season coming up. After Leo, we could be talking about um, higher learning and uh, seeking out perhaps conflict resolution or solutions to a financial situation with these king and queen of pentacles, to a marriage, to a... Um, to a workplace dynamic between some people here uh, or a family dynamic we have people so people cards in your spread I do feel like they represent you know different people different archetypes of people like in the future for example we have the king of pentacles reversed with the wheel of fortune reversed above it so maybe that's the change agent. Maybe that's the person who is um, creating a change. Or actually with them both being reversed, maybe they've been holding the change up. Um, I actually feel like the personal development and the personal healing of this King of Pentacles, could be you, Pisces, regardless of gender, um, has been what has kind of slowed down this process. Maybe... Um, they're the one that reacted the most or needed the most personal transformation to come out of the situation in order for the solution to be accessible. Um, and then we look over on the other side of the reading and we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Sun reversed. And um, both are very positive omens when they're upright. Um, the sun reverse can sometimes talk about like everything about the sun that is um, like glaringly bright or um, like center of attention, so to speak. And the queen of pentacles being here can talk about um, needing to put themselves first, even though they may be responsible for other people or, or other situations. Um, so I feel like in this dynamic, whoever's involved, you, other people, and it's a group situation, that personal healing and development slowed things down on your side, on both sides, putting each other um, individually first, and, and then um, like that's what that's been happening as well instead of caring about like the group dynamic instead of caring about how everybody involved benefits or moves through in a difficult energy um, it's more about like well what what do I get out of it what how can I grow what can I do to achieve balance so um, and the three of swords is that group energy it's also the pain you know because threes can represent people groups of people and it's reversed, representing the collective energy. So um, there's a lot of like 
uh, ego being drained out of this situation. And as time passes, because I do feel like lots of time has passed in this dynamic, you know, comparative to your situation, um, we have the star card in the middle of the reading. Like, the universe, or maybe our higher selves, are still nurturing and watering this situation, still holding out for hope that the seed, whatever is meant to come out of this dynamic, will grow and be bountiful for the future. Like, sometimes, you know, if, 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 there's, if the justice card reverse represents maybe a forest fire, like something that, like, destruct, destroyed a lot of relationship dynamics or, you know, um, burnt up a, a resource reserve or something like that, some type of natural disaster within a relationship dynamic, like maybe it was out of control, maybe it was, um, you know, not savable, you know, but because it wasn't recoverable or savable, the only hope left is that the seeds from those trees that were buried under the ground by the squirrels and other creatures will start to rise up again and grow and create a new forest. So that's kind of what we're kind of seeing here. It takes a lot of time, takes a lot of, like there's a lot of injury and damage to the forest. So, you know, and to the people involved and to the heart chakras with all that green energy of the forest. So, um, you know, um, uh, something has been burnt down to the ground and from the ashes rises new, well, abundance, new opportunities, new uh, opportunities for growth. Definitely emotional growth with the Queen of Cups here as well. Um, and uh, with the star card being next to the Queen of Cups, there's something here about like water bearer, like Aquarius energy, but also, you know, Aquarius Cancer energy. Um, you know, Aquarius is about caring about humanity, caring about others, and and rebelling against the status quo, like p pushing for change, pushing for upgrades, bringing in higher levels of understanding. And Cancer is all about the home, nourishing the heart, nourishing the, our loved ones, and um, the full spectrum of emotions that comes with love and 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 uh, cycles that we go through, the tides that like ebb and flow in these movements. I want to say that whatever happened in your situation had to happen for multiple people. Um, so it wasn't just your karma. That's something I want to make clear. And uh, yeah, it's isolated you or if it's isolated other people or um, and it's also been a big learning experience with the Hermit card here. All right. Well, the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles Reverse. The future position opposite that card is the King of Pentacles Reverse. So um, I want to say that it's if there's multiple parties in a situation, they're, di they're diverging. They're going in different directions. Um, they're reestablishing themselves in different places, energetically, emotionally, maybe even physically. Um, and uh, doesn't mean that, I mean, we don't have cards here talking about like relationship between the two parties and the potential and growth of the relationship between two people. Like, I don't know if it's going to grow or if it's ended or if there's any, if there's even any desire left for that, but... Um, there's more space now between the two, you and your person, you and the group of people. Like, everybody has more space to grow now. Instead of being that, in that tightly packed, dense forest where everyone's competing for light and new so resources and nutrition, you know, nobody has that space anymore. Everybody had to kind of, like, spread out and reestablish new seeds and new roots and, and new growth. And it, it, there's more space now to grow. 
And that was probably perhaps what was needed in this dynamic. Okay, thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon.